The water of Leith was once Edinburgh's industrial hub. Rising from Cooliam Springs into Harper Rig Reservoir, the river flows for 24 miles before joining the Firth of Forth at Leith. Weirs were constructed up and down the river to channel water down mill races, turning the wheels that powered the mills. There were once 70 mills situated on the river, and these produced goods including paper, flour, woolen and linen cloths, spices and snuff. The last mill on the river closed in just 2003. Falling demand, environmental impact and technological change led to their demise. Little remains now other than subtle hints of the river's historic and industrial past. A small retaining wall opposite Curry Bowling Club was used as climbing practice by Dougal Haston, the first Briton to summit Everest from the southwest face. At 137 metres long, the curving Collinton Tunnel is an obvious reminder of the Balerno Branch Railway, which the first half of the Water of Leith walkway now follows. And reaching the city centre, the Dean Village was home to eight mills, a brewery, distillery, chemical works and tannery. The Baxters owned all of the mills and granaries, supplying the entirety of Edinburgh's flour until the 19th century. Many remaining mill buildings along the entire river have now been converted into private dwellings. Finally, Leith, a mecca for shipbuilding and trade throughout the 20th century. The firm Christian Salveson, once the world's largest whaling company, operated from the port of Leith in South Georgia, named after Leith where the company is still headquartered. A harpoon gun used in the early 1900s can be seen on the shorefront. Walk its length to discover your own Water of Leith. <laughs>